EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 1st, 2024. It is Friday, start of the new month and end of the work week. The Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family owned and operated brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street. And their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week and have a full food menu, plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in or takeout, along with local wine and cocktails. They have trivia night every Wednesday at 6.30 and $1 wing day and night at both locations every Thursday. For details about all of their upcoming events, please visit our Facebook page or to place on online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectedBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast so today we have mostly sunny skies across the region pretty uh pretty nice day because it's not going to be windy like it was yesterday yesterday was just uh just a brutal day i know it was uh, wasn't ridiculously cold but it was a lot colder than it was for the last couple of days prior to that uh but we have uh, a a warming trend starting today not incredibly warm but still technically uh, very slightly above average. 46 to 50 is a temperature spread across the region today with mostly sunny skies. Then we got this bugger down here across the southeastern United States is going to be moving out in this direction, and we're going to get clipped on the north side of that with some rain. There was uh, We were talking about this in the last couple of days, and look, we were working out timing of this and hopefully trying to salvage some of Saturday. It does not look like that is going to be the case any longer okay so this is going to be a most of the daylight hours event for most areas okay uh so this is going to come in very late overnight so clouds are going to increase tonight mostly sunny day clouds increase overnight and then very late at night you have some showers working in uh after midnight and then it's going to continue into much of uh thursday or yeah thursday geez Saturday. <laughs> I'm having trouble with my days this week. I'm telling you, I've been so busy doing some things on the side and just business taxes and we're doing a website redesign. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Uh, and then we we're busy, of course, with all the wind and outages with our utility clients uh, this week. So it's just my head's a blur right now. So Saturday is the day it's going to rain. This is tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, we have some showers during the day. It's not going to be a particularly heavy, but we are going to watch areas in the southern half here just to see if it is going to end up being a little bit more like some models are suggesting. Uh, but most areas are going to be like between 0 0.3, 0 0.6 is, uh, is a good estimate. Uh, for most interior areas. Again, the areas down here uh, across the Delmarva, I want to watch for perhaps uh, some some higher amounts than that. Okay, so we're going to look at that today and send out alerts as needed for rain. Uh, if you do subscribe to the winter alerts, I know it's not snow, but you'll still get those alerts too. We said those are year-round alerts, and since the winter program has not ended, it doesn't do so to the end of this month. You'll still get any kind of rain alerts that are noteworthy uh, throughout the month, though, okay? So this is going to end very late Saturday afternoon or early evening in our far eastern areas. As we get over the Nam High Res Future Simulated Radar, we're starting us off at midnight. And you can see some showers working toward the region. The outer periphery of these showers are kind of working in from the southwest and northeast like this. Uh, so maybe starting as early as late evening in south central Pennsylvania. But uh, this looks like it's going to be an after midnight deal elsewhere as it moves eastward. And you have just uh, pretty much just showers here, but you can see what the NAM's doing. It's focusing on these southern areas for some heavier uh, precipitation right along the Delmarva, like I just mentioned. Uh, but elsewhere, you're still getting between 0.3 and 0.6, okay? And this goes moves off to the north and east. Uh, this is looking at 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So it's just about after, right around dinner time, it's completely exited to the northeast. So that's most of your Saturday. It's not the entire day, but it's pretty close, okay? Most of the daylight hours are going to be shot here for Saturday. The good news is Sunday will not be that way. It'll be a much different scenario here on Sunday. In terms of total precipitation, this is what the European model has. Again, uh, might be overestimated a little bit in the interior here, but uh, for most areas where uh, generally 0.3 to 0.6, might have a few areas go over here. If I move this over to the GFS though, you can see where it's focusing, focusing that heavier rain. It's down here as opposed to the interior. So uh, we're going to come up with the uh, composite for the areas that we were sending the alerts today, but uh, we'll see where these come, where these end up settling as we go forward today, and then we'll send that out uh, today later today at some point. Okay, so 
once this is out of the out of the region, we are still uh, probably the. I, I would say it's a good thing it's a weekend because the better of the next three days is going to be Sunday. So all three days are going to have more clouds than sun, but Sunday mo- might feature the most sun of any of those three days as this system moves off to the north and east and gives us a little bit of a break. Then we're going to get into like an onshore easterly flow here on Monday. So it's going to leave pr- plenty of clouds. So you still have this system kind of me- uh, meandering here. You also are hard to see here, but there's a high pressure up here in the Gulf of Maine. So you get an easterly or an east-northeasterly flow off the ocean. That's going to give you more clouds than sun here on Monday. And the same thing is holding on Tuesday. Can't rule out that you're going to get a stray shower in a few spots, especially closer to the coast uh, during this time frame in the Monday, Tuesday time frame. But generally just mostly cloudy in most areas during that time frame but it is going to be mild so we're looking at temperatures saturday not too much different because it's going to be raining so it's not going to be able to really increase but it does a little bit 48 to 53 as you see above me the temperature spread for saturday sunday we're on either side of 60 same thing for monday same thing for tuesday okay so we're pretty close to the 60 degree mark uh, across the entire region maybe like a 58 to 63 degree spread during that entire window and then when we get to wednesday uh, we are going to have some rain moving at us. looks like it's going to come in later in the day, and this is from another system coming in from the southwest, and it's going to push rain through the area. This is rain. This is not going to be anything else, and it is uh, going to continue into Thursday, it looks like. Okay, so the latest guidance is showing this coming in late Wednesday and continuing all of Thursday or most of Thursday, okay, and that lifts off to the north, and then that should be out of here by the end of the week. And uh, that, but it's still going to be mild here in the Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday time frame as well, mid to upper 50s to near 60 across the region. So it will be a milder stretch as has been expected for a while now for the beginning of March. I'm EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for March 1st, 2024. Have a great Friday.